Hello and welcome. My name is Amanda and today I have for you part four of my makeup declutter series. So today we are going to be going through all of my foundations, concealers, primers, and setting sprays. So if you would like to see what I have and what I plan to unhaul and send away or throw in the trash, just keep on watching. All right, so my last um, drawer is foundations, primers, concealers, and setting sprays. Um, since my setting sprays section is the smallest, we're going to start with that. I have the Tarte Ready Set Radiant uh, Setting Spray in a full-size bottle. This is good, but I prefer the Rainforest of the Sea Setting Spray better, which I do have in a sample size and then a travel size. Um, both of these could be used for travel, but the spray on my travel size doesn't work. So I have to kind of dump the contents into my little mini sample size. Um, I do plan to repurchase this though. Once I run out of both of these, I really like this and it smells really good. So next I have concealers. I have the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer in Fair Light. I really like this for just lightweight coverage. Um, it doesn't cover up all my blueness under my eyes, but that's okay. I kind of like a more natural look. I also have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye in Light, um, which is a really thick concealer, but great for covering everything. I have a sample size of the NARS Concealer in Vanilla. I bought this at Sephora right before they announced that they were selling in China, so they are no longer a cruelty-free company. So once I finish this up, I will not be repurchasing it. And then I have the Milani uh, Retouch and Erase Light Lifting Concealer in Fair. And the only color correcting cream I have is this Tarte one in uh, light medium. Which is a nice orangey color that's not really picking up on my camera. So I can use that with the uh, Aqua Sealer. And it'll help to get rid of that blue if I want just a little extra help. So uh, next are my primers. And I honestly don't use primer often. But I've got the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer. Um, I think this makes a really nice base. Honestly, I only typically use primers when I use powder foundations, which isn't often because I've got really dry skin. Um, and then I have the Too Faced Hangover RX uh, Primer, which I'm pretty sure I bought just because Katie and Desi like this one. So those are my two primers. For liquid foundations, my favorite is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. It, I, my color is Fair Neutral. I also have this Tarte Tarte Guard uh, 20. It's a CC cream that has um, SPF 20 in it. And I bought it in medium, um, which is way too dark for me. So I use it in the summertime. I also have this um, Tarte Double Duty Beauty Foundation Confidence Creamy uh, Powder Foundation in Fair Neutral. This is what I use when I just do a powder foundation. It's really nice. It goes on really well and I feel like it doesn't cling to my dry patches as much as other powders do. Um, I have this L'Oreal Hydra Perfect uh, Perfecting Loose Powder in probably light, some, yeah, light. Um, I've had this a really long time. I bought it again before I went cruelty free. Um, and it's old and it's making me break out, so I'm going to toss it. And then I also have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Press Powder um, Translucent which I use to set my under eye and usually the rest of my face. 
Oh, and the last thing I have is this La Cochita Naturals uh, Matte Veil Translucent Finishing Powder that my friend gave to me, so I might try it for setting my under eye. Um, I don't really like things in pouches, though. I think it's really messy, and I don't exactly know how to get the product out nicely, so we'll see how that goes. That is it for my collection and unhaul. So next we're going to go through lipsticks, which will be part five. And I'm curious to know what some of your favorite cruelty-free and vegan brands or favorites are for uh, foundations and concealers and setting sprays. I don't really use primers a lot, but if you feel so inclined, please leave that down in the comments below and I will chat with you there until my next video. Bye!